I often cite some of the Adventist studies when making videos on the benefits of plant-based diets. But when you read the fine print, and in particular in this study, you can see that pescatarians, those who have a mostly plant-based diet but eat some seafood, actually come out on top with a slightly lower mortality rate than vegans, and obviously lower than ovo-lacto-vegetarians and meat-eaters. Now putting the environmental impact of eating fish aside, fish are a great source of omega-3 and omega-3s are critically important as they're an integral part of cell membranes throughout our bodies and affect the function of the cell receptors in these membranes. Amongst many other things, they are vital for brain health, with long-chain omega-3s being shown to have unique and indispensable roles in the neuronal membranes. I recently heard a fantastic interview by the esteemed plant-based neurologists, Drs. Aisha and Dean Shazai, where they discussed whether they recommended fish for their patients. I was particularly interested in what they had to say, as there's been some debate within the plant-based community recently on whether or not vegans should be taking algae omega-3 supplements. So let's hear what they had to say. As far as animal protein and brain health is concerned, we don't have good evidence that fish are bad for the brain. And that's one thing that for the sake of integrity and being true to the science, we try to understand it better and we're hoping that we understand it uh, clearly. There's really no good evidence that fish is bad. And I think it's not the fish, it's the omega-3 fatty acid content in the fish and fish being the major source of omega-3 fatty acids for most population is the issue. Now, if people were able to get omega-3 fatty acids from say flax seeds and chia seeds or ALA coming from plant foods or if they supplement it with algae I think that would not be an issue at all but from the data that we have it seems like omega-3 fatty acids is the most important fat for the brain and that we need it on a regular basis. There have been actually some changes that have come in different studies so for example for many years the Mediterranean diet was touted as the best diet for brain health and they looked at Alzheimer's disease and stroke and Parkinson's disease and people who ate a Mediterranean diet, they actually had lower risk of that disease. In that diet, people actually consumed fish several times a week. But then another dietary pattern that was a more pure, a cleaner and more specific version of the Mediterranean diet called the Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay, MIND diet, it showed that people don't necessarily have to consume fish on a regular basis. Maybe even consuming it once a week would be enough to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. And that shows that if we have a planned plant-based diet, Meaning if we pay attention to our omega-3 fatty acid consumption, we don't have to eat fish at all. Even fish, we say that although there's no data that it's bad, in fact, some data that it might be good for the brain, but we think it's the omega-3. We don't push for fish because we think of the fact that maybe the thing that's not accounted for long term is the toxins, yeah. not just lead and mercury, but lots of other toxins that bioaccumulate in fish. We just put in two papers that were accepted, uh, one omega-3 in the developing brain and one on omega-3 in the aging brain. The only fat that the brain needs is omega-3. Mm -hmm. You can get it from food, but if you're worried, take some supplements. We take supplements. Yeah, For transparency based. sake, uh, yeah, we, we don't mm -hmm. sell anything. We don't push any particular brand, but we take algae-based omega-3 because it's that important. Our children do. They've done very well as, as plant-based children throughout their life, and they've taken omega-3. Um, so it, that's important to know, um, give some gradation to these things, but also speak to why we don't eat these animals. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.